hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i made this kimono with a large keyhole please keep on watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up let's get right into this tutorial this is the fabric i'll be using in today's project as you can see here it has been folded into four which means that this is for both the front and the back of the kimono The length is 64 inches and the width is 29 inches. Right now I am going to be marking out the neckline which is 3 inches across and 3 inches downward. And for the back neckline I am going to be marking 3 inches across and 1 inch downward. From the center of the kimono, I am going to be marking 11 inches across, then I will be taking my ruler and ruling a straight line downwards. On that straight line, I will be marking 11 inches downwards and that will be my armhole. On this armhole measurement, I will be marking my bust measurement which will be 9 inches across but I will be adding extra 2 inches which will be for ease and sewing allowance. From the top, I am going to be marking 16 inches downwards which will be my waist measurement. I will be dividing my waist measurement by 4 which will be 8 inches and I'll be adding 2 inches is and sewing allowance to that. From the waist measurement, I'll be marking 8 inches downwards which will be for my hips measurement. On the 8 inches, I'll be dividing my hips measurement by 4 which will be 10 inches and I'll be adding 2 inches for ease and sewing allowance. Now I will be taking my ruler and joining my bust measurement to my waist measurement, then my waist measurement to my hips measurement. Why I am going through this process is just to make sure the large keyhole for the kimono fits well. What I will be doing now is placing my curve ruler this way and I am going to be marking out the keyhole. This is the keyhole here as you can see. For the cotton, I will go ahead and cut the back neckline first. Then I will go ahead and cut the keyhole out. Because I did not cut the kimono on the shoulder, I will be bringing out the back part of the kimono so I don't mistakenly cut on it. From the neck, I will be marking 7 inches downwards. I will be cutting this off and I will still be opening the kimono on the front all the way down. So what I will be doing is measuring 1.5 inches all the way down from the center of the kimono. I will be cutting it off now. This is what the rough draft of the kimono looks like. I will be adding color to the neckline all the way down. I will also be sewing the keyhole. In this video, I have not sewn anything, it's just a rough draft like I said earlier. The next thing I will be showing you how to do is sew the keyhole and then add the collar. A method you can use to sew the keyhole is either you use a good overlock machine that has a clean design 
or use this met or use this method that I am about to show you, which is I am going to turn the fabric to the wrong side and then join the notches together. You have to be careful and make it as precise as possible so that it can be neat and accurate. Then I am just going to go ahead and pin this round. This is what it looks like on the right side. By the way, I have not sewn it. It's just the pins that is holding it together. I'll be repeating the same thing for the other side. Now I am just cutting the fabric for the collar which is 2.5 inches on the fold and then I will be cutting the same measurement for the belt of the kimono. Now I am just going to go ahead and sew the key o. If you are new to my channel, I post DIY videos, sewing tutorials and pattern drafting tutorials. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because it will really help the growth of my channel. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers and I know with your help I can achieve that. Thank you. This is what the keyhole is looking like. After I iron it, it will look all flat and nice. I will be adding the collar now all the way down. I will also be going ahead to sew my side seams and belt off camera. This is what the kimono is looking like. Let me know in the comments how you'll be styling your kimono. I would really, really love to hear your thoughts. See you guys in my next video. Bye.